Hi, I'm Devanch, and I work on the Ego 4D team at Meta. Ego 4D is a massive first-person computer vision data set, and it has a huge amount of engineering investment backing it. As such, we have a series of resources and tools to make it easier for you to use Ego 4D in your own research to publish your own papers. In this video, we will be walking through the documentation, which is your first source of truth for any information about Ego 4D. We'll be looking at the visualization tool, which allows you to explore and subset the data without ever downloading anything. We'll be looking at the different coding repositories, which contain code to reproduce the baseline results, as well as uh, notebooks to create generate features and quick starts. We will be looking at the command line interface, which lets you download the Ego4D dataset in slices. And we will also be exploring the forum, where you can discuss everything Ego4D related. First, the docs. The Ego4D documentation is at docs.ego4d-data.org. This is your first source of truth for any information about Ego4D. It includes everything from the annotation schemas of the JSON files you will download. It includes notes about the benchmarks and the challenges, as well as how to access the data and the features that we've generated upon it. It has the exact instructions that we've given our annotators to annotate these videos and it also includes the privacy and ethical considerations that were followed in during the collection of this data set. The visualization tool can be found at visualize.ego4d-data.org. Let's jump in and see how it looks. You can get to the visualizer by going to visualize.ego4d-data.org. Once there, you enter your license key, and you're in. Welcome to Ego4D. Here you can explore all the different videos. You can see quick summaries of each one that jump through different parts of the video. You can filter by virtually any property about it. For instance, if we're working on the Vision Query benchmark, we can filter by videos where the benchmarks include VQ. And we can see all of the videos now have uh, VQ tags on top of them. We can also add other filters, for instance, benchmarks that include VQ, but also are part of the cooking scenario. And we see everything get filtered accordingly. We can also analyze the statistics of any subset that we've picked. In this case, uh, we have the slow fast feature embeddings visualized in a T-SNE space. And we can look through them this way. We can also see stats on the devices and the benchmarks of the videos in our subset. Now, if we remove the, these filters, we see that we now have information on the entire data set. The visualizer also allows you to semantically search for individual frames inside of videos. For instance, let's say we want to find videos where people are cooking, but they're also working with tomatoes in some way. And now we can see frames of Ego4D videos that actually have tomatoes in them. We can search for something like peeling a carrot. And we observe that we now see that here as well. Now this is semantic search. So you can search for any phrase that you might be interested in. Once you find the subset of videos that you like, you can go up here to download them. This gives you a list of video UIDs that you can plug into the CLI to download just a subset of Ego4D. Aside from filtering and semantic search, you can also paste in a list of video UIDs, like this one, and see just those videos um, popped in over here for your analysis. Now the videos are extracted through regex, so you can paste a corpus or even URLs that include a video you would in them and find those same videos extracted back out. Now let's find a video that has a lot of annotations on top of it. We can filter by benchmarks that include moments and also include FHO hands and also include visual query. 
and then search for a carpentry. This one looks good. Once you click into the video, you can see more information about it, including the different benchmark splits that it's a part of and the number of frames in the video itself. We can also see all of the different annotations visualized down here below. And all of this is fully interactable. So for moments, each of these segments are segments that we can click on. And it'll jump to that appropriate spot in the video. The same applies to visual queries, where we can see the bounding boxes overlaid on top of the video. Now, the annotations listed on the side are also clickable. Any annotation that refers to a frame or a time is clickable and interactable and will jump to that spot in the video. So for instance, with the lawnmower, we can jump to the visual crop frame and see the bounding box around it. We can also go to the response track and then go frame by frame as we see the bounding boxes change and shift. We've also added a mechanism to report anonymization issues or anything that you find in the data. You just click on this report button and you can report the issue. These are anonymously sent directly to us. If you would like a response on the issue that you request, then please email privacy at eco4d-data.org directly. Next, we have the command line interface. This is how you actually download the Eco4D dataset and different subsets of it. So you can get it by running pip install Eco4D. You will also need to configure the AWS CLI using AWS configure and load in the license key that you got in a previous step. Once you have the CLI, here is an example command to download the annotation data. Alternatively, you can clone the repository, make your own changes, and use the module directly. The repository is found at cli.ego4d-data.org, and the commands to run it are essentially the same. Here is another set of commands that you can use to download the data using the CLI. You can see that we have flags for picking specific data sets, like a 540 short side version of all of the videos that have been downscaled, or downloading the features generated on the videos. You can also download individual video UITs and even pass in a file that you get from the visualization tool, or select a benchmark that you want to filter by. Um, running ego4d dash dash help will allow you to see a full list of CLI flags. To get more information about this, you can go to cli.ego4d-data.org, where we have a list of flags, a list of data sets, and of course, you can run ego4d dash dash help to get this information in terminal as you're working. Next, we have the code repositories. The general purpose repo is available at github.com slash Facebook research slash ego4d. This contains code for the command line interface. It contains notebooks to show you how you can actually use the data, as well as generate slow, fast features and other type of features on top of the videos. The benchmark repos are all under the ego4d organization, and that organization includes code to reproduce the different baselines. We also have a forum. You can find it at discuss.ego4d-data.org. The forum is where we will keep on pumping out information and announcements and notices, um, things like updates on the challenges or new feature releases that we've put together. It's also a wonderful spot for you to post your own questions or your own topics that you'd like to discuss. Ego4d is a data set that will continue to evolve over time. Our team, as well as other researchers out there, continue to add more annotations on top of the Ego4D videos, making it denser and more precise. The forum is a wonderful spot to discuss the data that you would like to be added and new annotations you think would be useful for your research on Ego4D. We monitor the forum profusely. So if you have any questions, any discussion you want to have about the data set, the forum is the best spot to do it. It is also a great spot to post about any issues that you're having with the data set so we can quickly help you. If you have any questions about any of this, drop a comment down below or go and post in the forum. We will get back to you. And you can find all the links that we mentioned in the description below. Thanks for watching and good luck on your research.